Running out of things, mastering a common English phrase. Hello, everyone. Today, we're diving into a very common and useful English phrase, run out of something. Understanding this phrase is essential for everyday conversations, shopping, planning, and so much more. So, let's explore its meaning, usage, and see some examples in action. The phrase, run out of something, means to use up or exhaust the supply of something so that there is none left. It can refer to tangible items like food, money, or time, as well as intangible concepts like patience or energy. When you run out of something, it means you have no more of it available. To use this phrase correctly, you need to structure your sentence with the phrase followed by the item or concept you're referring to. Here are a few examples. We ran out of milk this morning, so I need to buy some more. She ran out of time to finish the project before the deadline. I'm worried we might run out of gas before we reach the next station. Remember, the phrase can be used in various tenses depending on the situation. For instance, present simple, I often run out of patience with slow internet. Past simple, they ran out of money during their trip. Future simple, we will probably run out of bread by tomorrow. When learning this phrase, here are some common pitfalls to avoid. Don't forget the preposition of after run out. The correct phrase is run out of something, not run out something. Pay attention to context. This phrase usually implies an unplanned or undesirable situation. It's not typically used when discussing planned depletion of resources. To truly master this phrase, try creating your own sentences or situations where you might run out of something. Practice with friends, in writing, or during your study time. Consider scenarios in various settings like home, work, travel, or shopping. And there you have it, folks. Understanding and using the phrase, run out of something, can significantly improve your English communication skills. It's a phrase that's widely used in everyday conversations, and now you're better equipped to use it correctly. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video has been helpful. Keep practicing, and don't forget to subscribe for more English language learning tips. See you in the next video.